Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. I woke up a while ago, did some yoga and got ready for the day and now I'm about to eat my breakfast. I think I'm going to make another fruit platter because I have a lot of fruit in my fridge so let's go. Again, friends today has actually been a super productive morning I just ate my breakfast that you guys saw is this focused on my face yeah I think so um so yeah I just ate my breakfast and then I filmed one video and a clip for another video I think you guys will actually already have seen the videos before this video but guess what it's only 9 6 a.m. so I would say the day is off to an excellent start so just a little update for you guys. I actually finished all of my classes and I had exams for two of my classes and then my third class, which is my hardest class, which is my anatomy class. That one I have a final for in three days. Yeah, this coming Friday. And so I'm just going to be studying for that pretty much every single day until then because it is a lot of information and it's cumulative. But yeah, you guys don't really care about that, so. But I have to go in to study for that class this afternoon, but I think I'm just going to be studying at home in the morning, so I'm just gonna be doing that now, sipping on some water as per usual, and I guess I'll check in with you guys around lunchtime. So it's lunchtime now, and I have a pizza dough thingy left in the fridge, so I think I'm just gonna put a bunch of stuff on there and make a really awesome vegan pizza so i'll take you guys along through it with me okay so here's the current situation got my pizza dough in the bag um i have some black beans that i might add on and these are the veggies i'm going to be adding i have some tomato chopped spinach broccoli red onion jalapenos corn and then this is aki um, you may not be familiar with it. I wasn't either until like a few days ago, but yeah, this is what they look like They're pods I'll insert a photo like somewhere over here of the original fruit But it's really dense and it has like a creamy cheesy and nutty flavor And so I'm going to put it on a pizza. I did this earlier this week and it was so good So that'll be like my cheese and then I'm gonna be super lazy and not use a pizza sauce because I don't have one and I don't feel like making one. I'm just going to use this marinara pasta sauce from Whole Foods. It has like basil in it. It's close enough to pizza sauce. But yeah, I will show you guys the pizza before I put it in. Oh, and I almost forgot. I have these potatoes that I'm going to be putting on the pizza too, but I cut them kind of thick so I'm just putting them in the oven while it preheats a little to like hopefully partially cook them so that way I don't have to cook the pizza for longer and like the pizza doesn't burn etc so yeah So while my pizza is cooking, I'm actually going to be putting these bananas into a freezer bag. And this is generally how ripe and spotty your bananas should be before you eat them. They should have brown spots on them. And then another way to tell if they're ripe, they should get like a crease up at the top up here. So it'd be like really easy to pull them off. As many of you know, I am about to go on vacation, but the one thing that I love is banana ice cream, okay? I think it's pretty obvious. but. When I come back from vacation, I'm not gonna have any bananas in my freezer. So I literally bought these bananas with the specific intention of putting them in the freezer so when I get back, I will be able to have banana ice cream because I'm going to be gone for like almost three weeks and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to have banana ice cream during any of that time. I'm not sure. I'll be staying with my grandma for the last like two weeks and she has a blender, but I don't know how powerful it is. So I'm gonna like experiment, but I'm also not about to break her blender. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. And we have eight minutes until the pizza is ready. So I'm pretty pumped about that. This seriously looks so epic. 
I cannot wait to devour this. But we're gonna go to my room, just because I don't know. We're just going there. I have like a stack of books under this so you guys can see the pizza, but I feel like it just looks weird when I eat something and you just see me like randomly bring food to my mouth and you can't really see the pizza. I don't know, but okay, taste test time. It's like falling apart. But it's so good. You know, that pasta sauce worked out really well. And the tomatoes and the potatoes are killer. If you haven't put potatoes on a pizza yet, you really need to get on that. Also, if you guys couldn't tell, I sprinkled the spinach on afterwards because if you put it in before you put the pizza in the oven, it just like wilts and then it doesn't look as pretty. And I sprinkled some black pepper on top too. Mm -mm -mm. I love food. As you guys know, I'm going on vacation soon and like I don't have class for three weeks of August. So I was kind of thinking about trying to do a video in every day of August, like a 30 videos for 30 days thing. And I mean, I'm not very in tune with the vlogger world, but I know like vlogmas exists. Is like vlogist a thing? I feel like it is. I think it is. But yeah, I don't know. So like part of me wants to do it because the last time I did 30 videos in 30 days, it was like really fun. And I feel like I learned a lot from it. But at the end, I'm not gonna lie. It was also incredibly stressful and I was so, so stressed out. And I feel like I have more videos planned. But like for this one, I feel like I'd wanna do more like vlog style things. But at the same time, it could be easier because I wouldn't be in school and working at the same time. I'm going on vacation. So like, I think I'm gonna try to do it. And I'm telling you guys so you can hold me accountable. Oh man. But anyways, I'm telling you guys so you can hold me accountable. But at the same time, I'm also not gonna make like an official announcement or number my videos just because, I don't know, I don't really like numbering my videos because then it looks weird for like people who don't know I'm doing 30 videos in 30 days. They'll be like, what the heck is that like 14 at the end of her video? So if you're seeing this message, I guess I have decided to commit. I'll probably like do a mix of vlogs and other videos and like some videos I do have like pre-recorded, like this one will be for August 1st because I will currently be traveling when you're seeing this. And I also feel like I've gained a lot of new subscribers since I last did my, sorry, I don't really like talking with food in my mouth. Yeah, but I've gained a lot of subscribers since I have less than my 30 videos in 30 days. So I feel like it'd be cool to like do it again with a larger audience and like probably get more like interaction with people and stuff. And for those of you who have recently subscribed to my channel, just wanted to say a quick thank you. I really appreciate it and I look forward to getting you all and I look forward to getting to know you all better through the comments sections of the videos and stuff. Oh, and on that note, while I'm on vacation, I'll probably try to do some live streams too, like Q&A, hangout type things, probably like towards the later half of my vacation. So just keep an eye out for that too. Okay, I'm gonna actually eat my pizza and stop talking because I don't want it to get cold because it's like super delicious. And then I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I think I'm not gonna do anything too exciting um, before I go to class. So if I eat something before class, I will see you before I go. But if not, I will see you around dinner time. So peace. Hello, my friends. I am very sweaty and it has been a long time since we have talked, almost five hours I think um actually six I just got back from class and my hair is a mess I know but I'm basically not having anything too fancy for dinner because I'm really hungry and I'm feeling pretty impatient so I'm just using a bunch of leftovers that I had in the fridge and like jumbled them all together so we got some quinoa there's actually a lot of it black beans steamed broccoli nutritional yeast just a little there and then salsa this brand and yep yeah, I'm just gonna mix this all together I'll probably add a little bit more salsa just because I didn't really pour a lot into the bowl but this was super easy that's why I always cook things in big batches like I still have leftover beans I used to have all of my broccoli and my quinoa but it's like really nice and you have a long day of class and you come home and you're just starving and don't really feel like cooking and you just throw everything together and you're set the broccoli's taking up a decent amount of room in here but there's a lot of quinoa but i will probably still be hungry after this so i'll check in with you guys for dessert
Japanese sweet potato in so long and it's just too good right now. If anyone is wondering, the nut butter that I'm using is Justin's Maple Almond Butter. I used to be obsessed with it, but no, I mean, I still like it, but I don't really use a lot of nut butters. But I'm trying to like clear out my cabinet of the things that I have that I don't really eat very much. And it's good on sweet potatoes, so cheers. So I think that that is everything for today, guys. I'm sorry today wasn't a little more exciting and I didn't take you around as much, but I'm like honestly pretty stressed with school right now and I just really want my exam to be taken and be over with. And the future videos are going to be a lot more exciting because I'll be on vacation. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to be in Seattle, be in Portland, gonna hike part of Mount Rainier, and then I'm going to go to Martha's Vineyard, which is an island in Massachusetts. So you'll be seeing lots of beaches and a fun stuff. But until then, you're stuck with boring old me. But yes, thank you all so much for watching. And if you aren't subscribed already, be sure to click that little red button down there. At least I think it's there. It might be there. I never know. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.